Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is physiology portion of MRCS. So this is the question. First of all, let's uh, say the question. A 39 years old lady has recurrent attack of biliary colic. What is the approximate volume of bile to enter the duodenum per 24 hours? So uh, this is one of the direct questions that we have to find out the volume of the bile that means the amount of the bile is secreted daily from the gallbladder that means within the 24 hours in the duodenum here the options so options are 500 ml 50 ml 100 ml 2000 ml and 150 ml so let's see details regarding the bile so here first of all here we can see between the 500 ml to 1.5 liter that means 1500 of bile enters the small bowel daily especially in the duodenum because the common bile duct binds with the main pancreatic duct and finally open it to the second part of the duodenum and here we can see most bile salt are uh, recycled by the enterohepatic circulation this point is very very important that the bile is not usually lost because most of them about 90 to 95 percent are reabsorbed again into the circulation and here we can see the when the gallbladder contracts the luminal pressure is approximately 25 centimeter of water and which is why biliary colic may be so painful so when the when the pressure increases in the common bile duct uh, with distal obstruction there is a chance of development of the biliary colic which is the severe vein in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen so here we can see bile is produced at a rate between the 500 ml to 1500 ml per day. There is three main factors regulating the bile flow, hepatic secretion, gallbladder contraction and sphincter of OD resistance. So here we can see bile salts are absorbed in the terminal ileum and recycled to the liver. So this point is very very important that the bile salt through the intrahepatic circulation about 90 to 95% are reabsorbed through this terminal ileum so any surgical condition or any condition which compromises the terminal ileum or resection of the terminal ileum that will hamper the bile recycling over 90 percent of the all bile salt are recycled in this way such why the total pool of bile salt is recycled up to the six time a day so here we can see the bile circulation so first of all here we can see the bile salt bile acid and different components from bile and it stores into the gallbladder and from the gallbladder second part of the duodenum this bile is entered and finally in the terminal ileum the bile is reabsorbed into the portal circulation and finally recess into the liver here we can see this is the another follow here we can see the intrahepatic biliary canaliculi and extrahepatic uh, bile duct and this is the gallbladder where the bile is stored and it's secreted in the second part of the duodenum with the pancreatic juice and it goes 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 and some of the very small amount which is about five percent is excreted through the stool and rest of 95 percent almost 95 percent of the bile they are again reabsorbed and finally recess into the liver circulation here is the composition of the uh, bile and among them these organic substances are more more important here we can see organic substances are bile salt bile pigment cholesterol fatty acid lecithin and mucin so the cholesterol fatty acid lecithin mucin among them cholesterol and fatty acid they are harmful for our body and they mixed with the bile and finally it goes out to the exterior through the anus so among the a composition of the bile the most important components are the organic substances which is bile salt bile pigment and cholesterol fatty acid lecithin and mucin so here the primary bile salt and secondary bile salt these two point also very very important the primary bile salt and the secondary bile salt primary bile salt are colate and 
seno deoxycholate and secondary bile salt deoxycholate and lithocholate so this primary bile salt and secondary bile salt this four important name should be memorized very carefully the primary one is colate and keno deoxycholate and secondary it is deoxycholate and lithocholate deoxycholate is reabsorbed but lithocholate is inso insoluble and excreted uh, so now uh, in short we can see the pathophysiology of the golestin bile salts have a detergent action aggregate to form micelle and these have a lipid center in which fat may be transported excessive quantities of the cholesterol cannot transport it in the way and will tend to precipitate resulting in formation of the cholesterol risk cholesterol so this point is very 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 important bile and bile salt very important for our body for a normal circulation and prevention of the cholesterol when the fatty food or fat content in the circulation increases the bile cannot saturate the fat and this fat precipitate and form the cholesterol for why the most of the cholesterol we can see it found or we can find it in the obese patient so for this condition that means the cholesterol that means the cholesterol when it's out of the range of the normal count then what will happen our bile it uh, will not be able to saturate this cholesterol so cholesterol deposit descent triggers and it is disseminated and uh, sorry it is precipitate and finally cholesterol formation occurs and they are the function of the bile there are different type of function in short let's see the it digest it has digestive function absorptive function excretory function laxative function also so it is very very important it has laxative function also so in case of ck the cld or chronic liver disease or liver cancer the patient usually supported laxative because in this case bile usually not reach into the gut then antiseptic action cholerectic action and maintenance of the ph in gastrointestinal tract prevention of the cholesterol formation and this point is very very important among them which is the prevention of the cholesterol lubricating function and coagulate function actually among this function the most important function is it prevent the formation of the cholesterol so now here our answer the that a 39 years old lady approximately high how volume of the bile enters into the duodenum that means the amount of bile which enters into the duodenum per day and the range between the 500 ml to 1.5 ml 1.5 liter that means 1500 ml and within the range we can see the 500 ml is present so our answer is 500 ml but normal range is a wide range of variety which is the 500 ml to 1500 ml thank you all